White flag up. Four runners standing by. And that off to a straight line. In the showpiece and final classic, the Comer Group International Artist and Ledger. Group one, a mile and six, and it's the outside of Yashin, first to show in front, being followed by Dawn Rising. Elder, Elder Rov, the solitary English runner, one from last, and bringing up the rear is Kiprios as they continue towards the end of the second furlong, and it's Yashin, the leader, by a length and a half, disputing second. Elder, Elder Rov on the outside, just shading that spot from Dawn Rising, tracked closely by Kiprios. Right across towards the final 11 furlongs is Yashin by three parts to Elder Elderov and the Stripes. Just third is Dawn Rising with alongside Kiprios, the returning standout stair and last year's winner. Yashin maintains a lead of three parts of a length under Shane Foley. Handy in second is Elder Elderov. And David Egan, third is Dawn Rising. Declan McDonough, fourth of the four, is Kiprios and Ryan Moore. Continuing right over on the far side, Yashin the leader, followed by Elder Elderov. Ironically, his last one came in the English version at Doncaster last September, white cap of dawn rising, and completing the quartet as they go uphill to the halfway stage is Kiprios. Yashin from Elder Elderov, in third is dawn rising, Whipping them in is Kiprios. Coming up to the final three quarters of a mile. Yashin yet to be headed. Elder Elderov close in second. Third is Dawn Rising. Runner up in the trial here last time. It's just in front of the back marker. Kiprios right up at the top. Yashin joined by Elder Elderov. Couple of lengths to Dawn Rising and Kiprios. They're in two by two formation. Coming down for the turn into the straight. Yashin. Elder Elderov matching strides. Edging into third place is Kiprios, but nudged to do so ahead of Dawn Rising as they swing into the straight with just over three furlongs to go in the Comer Group International Artists and Ledger. Yashin ridden along against the rail from Elder Elderov, less than two lengths back to Kiprios, brought to the outside and gets a reminder with two and a half furlongs to go and then Dawn Rising coming down towards the final two furlongs. Elder Elderov one off the rail from Yashin trying to stay on as Kiprios, followed then by Dawn Rising, but Elder Elderov has gone for home under David Egan, leads a couple of lengths, Kiprios, Yashin fades on the rail and then Dawn Rising racing inside the final furlong. There's no catching Elder Elderov and David Egan. They're five in front of Kiprios and third is Dawn Rising and then Yashin. Elder Elderov is adding a second set ledger to ECV. The Comer Group International Irish equivalent won by David Egan and Roger Varian. Kiprios second on return. Third, Dawn Rising. Yashin whips them in. Last of the four. Let's get a quick word of Roger Verdi. He's in a rush to get to the airport. Well done. You've landed another Group 1 in Ireland. He was very impressive. Elder Alderov. Yeah, he was. And he deserved that. He's ran some good races this year without getting his head in front. Mile 6 seems to be his best trip. The race cut up today. You know, Kiprius, I'm sure, will come forward for the run. But uh, he was in good shape. You know, he took his opportunity. David gave him an uncomplicated ride. I'm delighted for the owner, Sheikh Khalid. You know, he's been patient with the horse and uh, delighted to see him winning again. Nice to... Nice to have him win two St. Ledgers. Great stuff. Where can we see him next, Roger? I'm not sure. He's got a few options and maybe one more run this year and have some fun with him next year. I know you're in a rush. Many congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yes, I'm delighted to be joined by David Egan, of course, Elder Alderov's winning rider. Great way to ride your first winner, which is hard to believe in Ireland. Yeah, look, I grew up over the road and uh, been try it's not that I haven't been trying. I've been coming over a couple of times every year for the last couple of years and just haven't really got a any bit of luck but um, we got it today. Everything worked out perfectly throughout the race. Yeah, very smooth race. He's a horse who had been missing the break on his last couple of runs uh, this year. We did a little bit of gate work with him when we realised putting a blind on him and take it off as the gates open was getting to jump a lot sharper which was pivotal in getting that um, position that I wanted in second place to sort of dictate the race and go when I felt was necessary. And obviously coming into the race you knew it was going to be a tactical affair, especially when it broke up, there was only four in it, but you most importantly and vitally had race fitness under your belt compared to Kipri's first run since last last uh, autumn. Yeah, and even though the race cut up I had a lot of faith in my horse. He's um, obviously a classic winner already, Royal Ascot winner, and sort of he 
hasn't really got the rub of the green this year. I thought he ran a nice race in Goodwood last time, but we gave Quick Thorn too much of a free rein the last day, but we weren't beaten off. I think we were beaten maybe a short head and a head for second place. Uh, ran a lovely comeback race at New York, and I think two and a half miles at Ascot stretched him too much. I think today's his optimum trip. Good stuff. And it looks like, just speaking to Roger, he's going to be kept in training as well next season. He's going to be obviously exciting next year because, to be fair, there's relatively little mileage in the clock, isn't there? Absolutely. That's only his um, fourth run of the year. He was lightly raced. He won two novices, went on to Royal Ascot, and he won. Um, then he obviously won the ledger and ran disappointing in, um, in Ascot on Champions Day. But uh, absolutely, he's uh, very little mileage. And for a breeze up horse to have such longevity, just goes to show how much um, how much great work the, the team at the Breeze Ups did with them. An extra special to ride your first Irish winner, as we said, on what was your local track. Yeah. Your granddad, of course, trained Desi Hughes, the late Desi Hughes, only two minutes down the road here. Yeah, look, very special. I'm sure he's looking down on me today. Sad that he never got to see me race, and uh, obviously Richard training now. Um, I'm sure he'd be very proud of him. My mum obviously took over and did a tremendous job training for a couple of years, won an Irish Grand National in the Grade 1, so uh, no, I'm sure he's looking down. Both her and uh, your mum Sandra and your sister Alexandra, they got uh, very emotional afterwards, they were very proud of you. Yeah, look, it's tremendous to have um, some of the family here and some of them are watching on telly today, so uh, hello to them. Great stuff, David, well done. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.